It is Sunday, May 29th in the MLB, and I'm Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And we are back. We got our favorite first five run line. We got a player prop, and we got a no-run first inning coming your guys' way. You guys already know what to do. Do us a favor and mash that subscribe button. Look, I'm on vacation, and I'm still recording the videos. We Austin and I put a lot of time and dedication into these just for you guys. So just do us that quick favor of subscribing and also drop a like while you're down there. I agree 100%, Logan. It's Sunday, our NBA uh, Game 7. Best bets just went live. Go check out that one linked in the description and at the end of the video. Let's recap yesterday. Not what I would consider a good day, but you know what? It was a day, to say the least. A one and three day Padres, minus one and a half. How's an outright loss for you? Cueto, over four and a half strikeouts. How's a bunch of pop flies and whatnot to the dang Cubs? And he loses that game. And the Cards, Brewers, Nerfy, oh man. We got a lot of hate in that one. For, but you know what? Devers and Martinez hit parlay. We can't sweat about that one. They both get it done for us. The Cubs, Pirates, Reds, Royals, and Orioles all won yesterday. Five teams with not very good records facing teams that borderline are going to make the playoffs. That's how weird of a day it was Saturday in the MLB. But look, we have to, for the people that are coming at us for Nerfy Nation, we're not stopping anytime soon. Now, look, we're still profitable. You look at the bottom screen, still 28 and 21 on the no run for settings. I remember, Logan, getting all love when we were hitting Nerfies like six, seven in a row. And now when we hit a couple of losing ones, we're getting a lot of hate. Look, we see you guys. And we're coming back with a vengeance today. We're hitting today. And you guys are going to have to deal with it. But as always, we appreciate you guys for coming out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Logan, I'm throwing to you oh, one last note. Shout out to all our COS All-Stars. we got a newest one, Hunter. You're the real MVP. Also, there's a prize picks free square for Jason Tatum score over 0.5 points. Definitely take advantage of it. Put more description down in the description. Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're here for winners, Logan. It's time, baby. Yeah, you know what? Uh, yesterday, I, I was a fool. And I'm still in the dang octopus shirt, and you guys can't stop me. Exactly. This this is the way. This is the way. But uh, yesterday I had a pick, a, epic, epically bad pick. We're, we're getting back on track today. I'm taking the Astros run line in the first five versus the Mariners, plus 100 odds on, on DraftKings, as Austin's showing right here on Odds Gym. Plus 100 for, for, a, for an ultimate bounce back spot. Yeah, I'm in for sure. Like me, the Astros are riding the struggle bus, though. There's no doubt about it. They lost six to one yesterday and six, six nothing the day before that. They're in danger of getting swept by the Mariners. And look, you can do line rating on this one all you want. I the trends so much favor the Mariners, it's not even funny. Yet they're still sizable underdogs. I don't necessarily think they're going to. I, I think the Astros do win full game in this one, but I also love their splits in the first five. So if you were to play, you know, first. First five bet with me. I like that play. You can play full game as well. But this one, this one just makes a lot of sense. Houston has fared well versus left-handed pitchers, right? They're 12 and three on the year. That's for anybody that wants to bet the full game. But I'm betting the first five because I don't think we're going to have to sweat this one all too much. They're facing a lefty today, as I just mentioned, and Marco Gonzalez. Marco Gonzalez coming in with a 3.74 ERA. He's given up five earned runs in his most recent start. So that, that ERA is a little bit de deceptively low. But the real reason why I am taking the, the Astros to have a one-run lead on Marco Gonzalez through five is because of their hitting splits. Listen listen up. They're, they're very impressive. Brantley, 444. Alvarez, 417. Tucker, 400. Altuve, 333. And Bregman, 313. All versus Marco Gonzalez. If they can't hit Marco Gonzalez, they can't hit anybody and they can never be picked again. Because if you look at, if you look at how many plate appearances they have, versus Marco Gonzalez, it's it's approaching near 30 plate appearances. They've seen him a lot, and they've hit him well in, in historically. So I'm, I'm, it's not like this is a pitcher they face once, and they're like one for three, batting 333. These are, these are a lot of plate appearances for these hitters. So these Astros bats should definitely be able to. And they're, they're going to be playing with some desperation. Look, back to against the wall. You're in danger of getting swept. They have to. They simply have to come out and and play well. And I do think they will. This is a this is a offense that has underperformed a lot of the year. But this is the bounce back spot that they need on the on the mound for the Astros today was Luis Garcia, two three and one earned runs in each of his last three starts, coming in with 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 a three point three seven ERA. I mean that's not a sky high ERA. He's about an average pitcher statistically, but. Unlike Gonzalez, several Mariners hitters haven't even faced Garcia many times at all, or near not nearly 30 you know plus plate appearances that a lot of the hitters. And Luis Garcia, if you've never watched baseball, he's got a really wonky wind-up release. Like he like sits on the mound, he like rocks back and forth. If you haven't seen that, and you haven't been able to time it, it could be hard to hit for a, for a lot of these Mariners hitters. So I like the Astros 
mi- minus a half in the first five. Their their money line is a little bit too juiced if you want the tie. But I do think they should be able to get the runs in the first five. And if they're not going to get the runs in the first five, I don't know where they're coming. I'm going to be honest with you right there. Astros, big bounce back spot today. And we're getting on track, back on track with that first pick. But Austin, what do you got for us today? I love the Astros pick today. If they turn into the trash shows, we are throwing them into the garbage. Now, before I get into my pick, I want to do a heavy lean on this one. Tyler Anderson of the Dodgers over four and a half strikeouts, minus 120 on Fando. Look, I have seen everyone and their mother on this pick, and I like it. I've liked all the numbers people are throwing at me. Just a little bit concerning when this line is minus 120, when people were just betting at minus 130, think it was going to move to five and a half. So I'm, I'm just saying I like it, but it would be my player prop of the day. I just am a little bit concerned about it. That's all I'm putting out there. Now, if he crushes it, I, I've shout it to him, but I just don't know. So I'm going to go to guys that I just love. I love them, and you guys should know where it's coming. I'm going Rafael Devers, J.D. Martinez, each get a hit in the Red Sox, plus five and a half. Now you're like, what the heck is this? It's a same-game parlay on DraftKings. I've built it over here on the right. I don't necessarily know. I tried to zoom in a little bit more, but obviously we need Devers. We need J.D. Martinez to get a hit, and we need the Red Sox to lose by – Five or less runs or potentially win. Like, I don't care how they get it done. Now, obviously, we've been running with the Devers and Martinez to get a hit each. And they has been ha- cashing out for us. And, look, that's that's 3-0 and for the community. And sportsbooks, I know you're watching me right now, and I know you've caught on. We're, we're taking your money, and you're trying to take it back. Look, we're not going to let it happen. And, look, I, the, right now, if you were to take Devers and Martinez each to get a hit, you're laying, like, minus 170. I thought it was minus 190 this morning. Like, I'm not doing that. So I'll take the Red Sox plus 5.5. I don't see them losing by six runs today. They'll probably win. But – just need to keep it. Now, if you want to take plus three and a half, that's fine with me. But right now, I think the best value is on, on Red Sox plus five and a half on DraftKings. But yesterday, we looked at it. Went one and oh. J.D. Martinez getting us a hit. And then, obviously, Devers getting us a hit in game one. J.D. Martinez did sit out in game two. And good thing he did because Rafael Devers did not get a hit in game two. So we dodged a bullet in that one. Now, Devers, 347 on the year. Crushing the baseball, 393 in May. Obviously, crushing the baseball in May. Just absolutely hit great hitting splits. J.D. Martinez, we've been talking about it, 376 in the on the year, 432 in May. Both guys have been killing it. Rafael Devers, like I said, has a hit in 22 of his last 25 games. Did not get a hit yesterday in game two. So I like the bounce back for him. J.D. Martinez has a hit in 24 of his last 25 games. Like I said, both, both Devers and Martinez, both have decent splits for Bruce Zimmerman. The starting pitcher for the Orioles today, and while they're not, you know, necessarily hitting 900 against them, they're still hitting above like 300. I think 250 over that. I think both guys can get it done. The over/under set at 10 on some books, so we expect some runs to be scored. The weather also in favor of some runs. I really like it today. Look at the Red Sox. If Martinez and Devers want to go out there and get a hit, and the Red Sox lose by six plus, I'll take it on the chin. Look, I don't. If they're going to lose by six plus, I doubt Devers and Martinez both get a hit. So I'm running it back. It's my most profitable bet so far the past couple of days. It's been making us a ton of money. I know it's not necessarily, you know, something everyone can bet on their sports books, but I think they both get it done. We're riding with Devers, Martinez, each to get a hit, and the Red Sox to lose by at least cover the plus five and a half, which I really do think they can do. Obviously, the regular line is Red Sox minus one and a half. I don't need to hear people saying, Austin, where'd you get plus five and a half? That's not obviously the normal line. It's an alt run line. But that is my player prop of the day. We'll be back for some more on Monday. We'll have some more lines available in the morning. But Logan, it's time. It's time. I don't need no music. I don't. I don't need any music. I What I do need, not one. But two. But two Dang rally caps, people. I know how to wear a dang hat. And so I saw people in the comments saying, I don't know. I know how to wear a hat. We need a rally cap where you have to wear it upside down. And we need these. We need this one. This Nerfy Nation has been down bad. And we're going to old reliable. Sunday night baseball. We're going Phillies Mets. We're taking the no run first inning. Look, if you want to fade it, we don't even care. You put you can put money on the year fee if you want. But look, these are about to be the quickest six outs we've ever seen. Minus 115 Fandle. You can see it on here. Now, why do we like it? We got Chris Bassett on the mound for the Mets. 3.91 ERA, 1.21 whip, 16 walks, 53 innings pitch, going up against the Phillies, 19th and first inning runs. They got some good hitters. But Harper never got a hit against Bassett. Knock on wood for that one. Bassett seven and two for the no run first inning. Both two year fees were both two San Francisco. Look, Bassett, you can't do three outs. I'll be coming on the mound going for three outs in our next no one first inning. So I'm counting on him. Please tell me the other guy can get me three outs, Logan. I need this one. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we we have the best opportunity on the on the other side, right, with Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler, 3.38 ERA, a 1.15 whip, 
only 10 walks and 45 and one third innings pitch. Zach Wheeler is, is the Phillies ace for sure. They're trotting him out on Sunday night baseball that they, they really want this win. I don't and think Zach you should Wheeler, say this next stat. I don't know if you should say it. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to say it, but I'm going to knock right on this wood, wood table after I say it. Zach Wheeler is 8 0 to the Nerfy. He has yet to give up a first inning run all year. So if he does so tonight, that's just Nerfy Nation down tremendously. But I, I, have, I have faith in Zach Wheeler. Look, he's a really solid pitcher. He's a strikeout specialist. He, the first time through the order, he's so good in the no run first inning portion because he's he's an ace, right? He has those put away pitches that those batters are just simply guessing. So I, I really do like that that piece of evidence. The Mets are ninth in first inning runs for what that's worth. They have a lot of you know good hitters, solid talent up there. But I I'm relying on pitching, better pitching in this one. Nerfy Nation, we're going to get back on track with this one. Look, I mean it's a, it's a no run first inning. We can't predict solo home runs. If 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 it, we die by another solo home run it's going to be it's going to be brutal just like yesterday you know what that you all you can do is present the evidence to the people you can ride it or you you can fade it as austin just mentioned but we're still nerfy nation and you're going to take off all those stupid rally caps tomorrow morning because you're not going to need them i'm about to take off my octopus shirt and do the next next video without a shirt on if that's what <laughs> it, if that's what it takes the octopus shirt will stay on until we cash a door in first inning yeah. so hopefully we can cash this one out we could yesterday we got ruined by a guy's first home run of the year. If that's not bad value, I think it was a turning of the tides, though. I think that's about as bad as it can get. Yeah. I think the only thing worse is if we lose on an error with two outs. I'm not knocking on wood because if that happens, I might not be available for the morning video. But Logan, <laughs> those are our three plays. Phillies Mets, no run first inning, taking the JD Martinez, Devers, hit parlay, plus a little bit of Red Sox, plus five and a half. And then we are taking the Astros. First five run line. Go get it done. Three quick winners, Sunday Sunday baseball. Let's get it done. See you guys on Monday. Peace.